While Prime Minister Modi is in the United States, ISRO and NASA have come together, sir. This accord that has been signed, what does that mean for India's space research? What does that mean for India? I think it's a, it's a matter of great uh, vindication also. Um, just as the entire world is now celebrating the Indo-US relationship, I think there's a celebration happening in the space as well now. And it has given recognition to India as a global player. And also acceptance of the fact that the last nine years under Prime Minister Modi, there has been a quantum jump as far as the space technology and our space, uh, uh, space uh, breakthroughs and our space cap capabilities are concerned. Because if you just look back and see, we started our space journey much, much after America had done. Mm. But there have been certain path-breaking decisions taken in the last eight, nine years at the behest of Prime Minister Modi, which have enabled us to move on, to move forward. For example, Space Department for the first time after 70 years was opened up for public-private participation. We have more than 150 startups over there. And now, if earlier on we looked up to USA as a kind of uh, you know, premier uh, country mm -hmm venturing into space and we, some uh, country from where we could pick up cues. Today is the other way around. It's bilateral now. They are picking up cues from us as well. For example, our Chandrayaan went to the space and brought pictures of the presence of water being there on mm. the surface of the moon. Mm. And that is precisely what the USA is trying to the International Space uh, uh, Station uh, of, of getting the humans back on the moon, you know, in the coming years. So the possibility of human habitat being there was also brought as a, an evidence by our Indian mission. So I think this is a huge, huge realization on the part of the American uh, space scientists, space experts, that India today is an equal position. So that's, that gives us a tremendous amount of uh, sense of uh, pride and also sense of esteem. Because when we are also when we are operating as equal partners, the relationship and the collaboration uh, promises to be longer lasting. And that's precisely, I think, what we look forward to. And uh, this as an accord basically uh, spells out a common vision among all those countries which are signatory to it. Common vision based on common principles, common guidelines, also common practices which we share amongst each other. And overall, to work uh, in space technology and the space missions for the larger benefit of the mankind uh, without uh, using it for non-peaceful mm. purposes, mm. also taking uh, due cognizance of the new concerns of space debris happening, right. etc. Right. So India had already announced, Gaganyan, we were in any case preparing to send uh, our, our astronauts uh, up uh, in the moon. Now in, with, the, with the Indian uh, establishment, the ISRO becoming a part of the Artemis Accord, um, can you explain to a layman how this is going to help uh, our, our quest? Question the space. No, I think uh, Gaganyan is already there in place. It's a totally indigenous uh, mission. The the space uh, ship has been prepared by all indigenous means, every nut and bolt. The astronauts will also be Indians. We had an Indian astronaut earlier also mm -hmm. called Rakesh Sharma, mm -hmm. but the mission was a Soviet mission. Yes. So Gaganyan is a separate uh, mission. Collaboration with NASA. US mm -hmm. or NASA through the Artemis or through a international shared international space station is going to be of a different uh, uh, nature. But of course, both the uh, both the endeavors would supplement uh, inputs mm -hmm. as far as our knowledge about space activities is concerned, mm -hmm. because uh, the international space satellite also looks up to the moon. Mm -hmm. So, to that extent, I think the the, the inputs obtained through the both missions will actually supplement each other's uh, uh, data bank. So you mentioned Soviet. We were always had Soviet collaboration uh, when we look towards the space. Uh, but now even United States, other than the Artemis Accord, is offering to train our uh, astronauts. Problem of plenty or is this is the best time that India has seen geopolitics? No, I think you, you should uh, look at it the other way. Today, the world and even the, 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 the so-called developed countries of the world look up to India as a force to reckon with, as, as, as the best uh, country to engage with at all levels. Mm. So that, that, that is something which is a complement to India's prowess, India's cap capabilities, and it has happened only in the last one decade because of the numerous path-breaking initiatives taken by Prime Minister Modi, particularly in the, in, the, in the area of technology. Like, for example, we are among the very few countries, an elite club of countries who are into quantum 
technology now. Mm -hmm. Earlier on, it was the other way around. I was uh, sharing the this morning only. I said earlier on we had a technology adopted in another country, applied, and then we would adopt it when it became popular. Then so I, the technology apartheid has ended for India? No, no. I would say it's a, the the time lapse has ended. Mm -hmm. Like I was mentioning the example of uh, television which was there in America in mm -hmm. 1950s. We saw it only in 1970. Mm -hmm. The entire debate of the 1960s, the 1960 presidential election was, you know, uh, was de decided on the basis of a TV debate mm. that happened at that time. Mm. We were not, I mean, when we heard the news, we didn't know what it was all about. But now it's not like that. Yeah. Any technology available anywhere in the world is available in the equal form and equal level and equal generation. So there's no presidential debate in India, but there is a debate going on in the opposition camp about how to challenge Prime Minister's leadership. What is your comment on this meeting that has happened in Patna? They've all come together with a game plan for 2020. I think that itself is a reflection that they are admitting their inability to challenge Prime Minister Modi. But uh, you think it is nothing more than a photo op? That's what Home Minister has called it. No, I, I don't think it's going to gather any moss also because there is no consensus of who's going to lead this uh, group. So it's only it's just a desperation of uh, reflecting their inability to stand uh, to face Prime Minister Modi. So does that also tell you because uh, you know Congress is seemingly having a problem with the Aam Aadmi Party? Their spokesperson has alleged Rahul Gandhi has entered into an agreement with BJP on the Delhi Ordinance. Mamta Banerjee also has her own qualms. Uh, so how do you see Congress's leadership? Is, is this going to work? No, I, I don't think it's uh, important for me to comment on their uh, party affairs. But uh, I think uh, they have lost the plot. Have they lost the plot? We'll, we'll have to wait and watch. But Dr. Jitendra Singh uh, is confident that politically speaking, the opposition is on the back foot. But as far as geopolitics and uh, space technology is concerned, India definitely is playing on the front foot.